Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and here is the Windows 11 version of the uh, video that I made about the sound settings, which is kind of similar but different at the same time. So um, if you are dabbling in trying to comprehend and try to have sound coming out of a device and you're not really sure why there isn't or where to look, the big problem in Windows 10 and Windows 11 in this case is that there are two places to look and it's important to do look at both places because there's still, even though the majority of the settings have changed, there's still some settings and some changes that might be visible only in the control panel. So of course, a lot of the settings and the sound has been transferred in the settings app. If you right click the speaker icon, you can go into the sound settings in Windows 11. In the sound settings, you'll see of course, the output and the input. So anything that is microphone, anything that is virtual sound, like sound mix, stereo mix here and so on, um, everything's gonna show up here but you might also be missing on some devices at the same time. So here's um, what you could do is you could, of course, go down into the advanced section and say all sound devices. If you click here, it will show you every output and input device that are actually existing in here so that you can check them out and see what happens with these devices. So if you're using a software like this and you don't have any sound, well, that might mean that you need to play around with some of those settings. But the problem is sometimes not everything is going to show up here. Not everything is going to necessarily be, um, you know, working here. And sometimes you're going to say, well, my device isn't showing up, maybe because it's disconnected, maybe because of an other type, I mean, it could be disabled. Usually when it's disabled, it still shows up in the sound devices. But you know what? You'll need to go in the search type control panel, click on the control panel app. In the control panel app, you will have sound. And if you click there, you will see that there's other things that are happening. There are things that are not showing up. For example, the NVIDIA and the headphones here were not showing up in the settings app. Yet they are visible because they are existing devices that right now are not plugged in, but are available. And this is where it gets complicated between the settings app and the sound app in the control panel because some are showing in one and not the other. So this is why you need to go and check out both places in your sound devices if for some reason something's missing. Because if it doesn't show up in settings, it probably does show up in the sound app of the control panel. This is where Microsoft really needs to brush up its act and actually complete the transition of everything from the control panel to the settings app. Because it at some point gets really, really complicated to have two types of settings and two places to go and check out. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.